Okay, Tyler Perry fans, this news is coming from secretatlanta.com. I'll leave a link in the comment section below so you can check out the article for yourself. But simply put, uh, this article just goes into details about how very soon the upcoming Medea's Destination Wedding film will be done with production and filming. It uh, looks like the original filming schedule was between January 15th and 26th in Atlanta. However, there are additional shooting dates in the Dominican Republic because remember, this is a destination wedding. I'm actually pleased that, um, you know, this is going to happen because, you know, typically when there's a Tyler Perry film, it usually, if always, takes place in Atlanta mostly on Tyler Perry Studios, uh, you know, property and sometimes maybe different locations within the area. But yeah, we're actually getting legit destination wedding vibes because of the Dominican Republic. And I remember saying this a while ago on a video about like uh, Zach and Fatima when they eventually get married, you know, well, due to Zach's record, he can't really leave the country or anything, but maybe there'll be a loophole or something. But imagine if they, uh, went to somewhere like, let's say, Tyler Perry's private island, and then the wedding got filmed there. That would be pretty cool. But aside from that, um, yeah, there's nothing more than a synopsis of the film, but I've already done a video on that. And uh, also, somebody sent me some photos that were posted online today, and they're actually filming what looks to be Joe's college road trip because Joe is behind the wheel. I'm not showing the photos yet. Now, if I can get a source that shows that it was someone on set or somebody that took the photo, I'll do a video. But last, oh, actually a few days ago, I posted about this because a lot of people were forwarding me the uh, like TikToks and whatnot of people, just random people who just so happened to be at the right place at the right time. And they had filmed like, Oh, look, there's a gas station, uh, car theft going on. And I see Medea and, um, Mr. Brown and Cora. And then another of like an airport scene where Medea's getting, you know, checked in and whatnot going through the security. And, I personally opted not to do uh, video coverage on that because I felt like I know it was a bit contradict. I know some people well, no, for the most part, nobody said this because I thought, you know, I felt weird making the announcement because I was sure somebody would go, wait, Jeremy, what, what do you mean you're not going to do videos about this behind the scenes stuff? I mean, what about when you do? Zatima or sisters behind the scenes stuff and you do videos on that. I think for me, there's a difference between behind the scenes footage that comes from official sources, like let's say Variety or Deadline or whoever, or BET gets a first look at, oh, a first look at behind the scenes of filming of Zatima season two or the Oval Season 5. I'm just throwing out random seasons from the past here. When these sources put that information out there to the public, that means, for the most part, it was meant to be seen by the public eye. Same goes for, like, cast and crew behind the scenes that do, like, you know, uh, TikToks or Instagram stories of, hey, day seven of filming, or we're about to wrap, or I'm hanging out with this knucklehead behind the scenes, or something like that. Again, I felt like, okay, the people working on it put the stuff out there. So I think that's fair game for me to, uh, you know, do coverage on. Same with Actors Access, because that is pu a public website for people who are trying to get a job in the acting game. You know, let's say they want to audition for a role, character information, filming dates, writers, directors, that stuff is public knowledge, fair game. But when it's just random people who film a project being created in real time, I don't feel like that's my cup of tea for coverage because I, I put this in the post I made 
about the Medea stuff, I said back in whenever, what was it, like 2020 or 2019? I forgot exactly when, but it was when the Medea farewell play was uh, making its rounds, you know, in the U.S. I had so many people who um, recorded bits and pieces of the play on their phones and, you know, they sent them to me and I didn't ask for them now because remember at the time my channel was, I think around a hundred thousand subscribers. So my channel was really big at the time and people knew like, you know, Oh, if I have any news, send it my way so I can cover it within a few days. I had the entire play in my DMS. What I mean by that is so many people were filming the actual play you know, some people uploaded the whole thing to YouTube, but yeah, I basically had the entire play in my DMS because people sent me the stuff to cover it. And I never did because I felt like, I don't think that's the right thing to do. You know, it just felt wrong to me because it felt like a bootleg, which is ironically how Tyler Perry stuff got really, 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 really famous in the black community, bootleg DVDs and whatnot. But it just felt wrong to cover it because the play was still going on. Um, I didn't have permission from Tyler Perry studios or anything. They're like, you know, Hey, I'm going to post this because I'm pretty sure I could have got a lot of views, but in the long run, it could have either bit me in the ass or I'd feel bad for doing it. And I just felt like I didn't want to do anything that was going to impact ticket sales. But to be honest with Medea being as big, big as Medea is, and it being the final play, allegedly the tickets were probably going to do nothing but sell out, but it just felt like I didn't, I didn't feel right. And I did watch the play when it came to BET plus and I did a review once it was on BET plus. So my thing is this, when it comes to like, um, people just filming or recording things in process that aren't part of the crew and whatnot, I probably won't cover it. I'll look at it because you send it to me, but I, I just won't cover it because I feel like I don't want to steal some of the magic of what's going on because you know, Tyler Perry, whoever's filming a scene in public and some random people on the street happen to record it on their phone. I don't think they meant for that stuff to be filmed because I know um, one TikTok of the particular gas station scene uh, when Cora Brown and Medea and other characters are out on the street. Uh, some people got too close. So, you know, security was kind of pushing them back. And that kind of let me know that, yeah, I don't think I should do a video on this because it wasn't meant to be brought to the public. Now, granted, these videos have already made a lot of traction online, even without me covering it. And um, a lot of people have seen it. But I just feel like with the platforms I have being as large as they are, I, I, try, to, I, I try to be a bit responsible. You know? I mean, there are bigger channels out there that do like Marvel stuff. Like, oh, somebody got this clip of um Ryan Reynolds and um Hugh Jackman on the set of the Deadpool film and then they'll do a bunch of videos and get viral, you know, headlines about it. But for me, eh I just stay in my lane, you know? Plus, I feel like maybe not doing the videos on the Medea stuff was a good thing because I got blessed in another way like the uh trailer breakdown I did for Sisters which was like three days late, my bad, it blew up over, as of right now, over 163,000 views in less than 48 hours. So I feel like that's my, you know, I guess you could say good karma for making the right decision. So with that being said, if I find out that any like, you know, photos and whatnot about these Tyler Perry films come from the people working on the set, I'll do videos on them. But until then, now. So, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.